Whoa, this is the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. Oh, I'm on the uh, torture device today. I haven't, I haven't really done a, a hill climb in like a solid two months, at least, maybe longer. <sighs> so I'm up here above Montecito on doing the Ramiro, <coughs> the Ramiro Canyon loop. Of course, this one starts with like a 13% grade, the first, first half mile right off the bat. My legs felt solid like jello. Oh boy. But uh, I got through that. I just did a nice climb. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna take a rest. This is where I made that last video the other day. It's uh, it's the perfect day for a mountain bike ride. It's not sunny. It's uh, got some cloud cover. It's supposed to rain tomorrow and the next day, which is nice. Super green out here. The flowers are blooming. My heart rate's up. It feels pretty good. A lot of people out on the trail with their families. A lot of uh, parents with their small children getting them out into nature. That's a good thing. That's always a good thing. But yeah, today I'm I'm just, I'm taking care of myself, man. Today's a little bit of uh, taking care of me day. So I figured I would uh, get out on the bike. I haven't actually ridden it on a serious trail since I got it tuned up. I got it tuned up like, I don't know, a month and a half ago, maybe two. And I just been riding around the neighborhood on it. So it's, it's pretty nice to be uh, out on it. It's feeling very good. Once I got over that initial 13% grade hump, <laughs> it's all easy now, dude. That was the hardest part of the whole deal was the opener. And it looks like there's a pretty decent single track on the way back, so that'll be nice. And um, yeah, I hope you're all staying strong out there, keeping a positive frequency, taking care of yourself. Physical movement, super important at this time. Get off the couch, turn off the fear porn, turn off the uh, Lion King, take care of your body, helps boost your immune system, helps keep your uh, spirits high. I'm, uh, I'm on a bike ride where I'm really taking the time on this bike ride to, uh, to apply God to all those who have lost their jobs recently and all of those who are out there nervous, man. I'm sending God's energy to you on this bike ride. So this bike ride's for, for you and I'm focusing on those who are, are nervous and I'm sending my love and my abundance of soul and spirit to you manifested through God's love. All right. Uh. All right. I made it to the uh, interchange sign. So it looks like I did uh, 4.2 miles since I got off that 13% uphill. This is the single track back down, which is 2.1 miles. And I could go another 2.7 miles around to link up to this single track. I don't, I don't think I got another 2.7 climbing up a hill, man. This is really nice. Once you get up past the... Uh, the hard part, man, it's pretty much just single track. There's a couple of little loose scrambles. I'm super stoked I have the uh, two-sided pedals, right? Because uh, I just clicked out and was super safe. There's the single track down there. And there's the, uh, the route you can kind of see right there. It was a nice climb, except I almost just got fully taken out by some <coughs> doucher flying down the hill full speed around a blind corner and right away goes to the uphill rider, dude. I don't, the worst people out on these trails I found over my mountain biking reality is fellow mountain bikers. 
he didn't even have a bell and they give away bells at the uh, bottom of the trailhead so that people would know you're coming this kid was flying so fast and i'll tell you what man everybody needs to slow down a notch especially in light of you don't want to have to take a trip to the hospital right now this is the time to, to slow down and play it safe for a while dude you do not want to end up in a fracture factory and be uh, getting coofed on. So, hey, everybody, just, like, slow it down a little bit out there. That kid, man, I, I, I was so annoyed for a minute. No clue. Didn't even have his bell, dude. They give away bells at the bottom of the trail. Cool super souvenir. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to hang out here. I'm going to drink some tonic water. And uh, I just want to remind everybody, when you're doing extreme athletic activities like these, your immune system is compromised for about 48 hours. So it behooves you to uh, make sure your immune system's totally boosted after an activity like that. And just to be aware of that. Because uh, under normal circumstances, we don't even worry about it, dude. But with the coof floating around, we got to take care of ourselves. So I'm going to hang out here. I'm going to have a couple snacks. And uh, I'm going to save this part two for uh, another ride. Because I think I'll try to get knock this one off midweek after the rainstorm. But I'm good, dude. I still got it, dude. I'll tell you what, man. Nothing's as bad as those first couple mountain bike rides I did when I first got this torture device. I just cruised. I got to tell you, dude. This, these... These uh, dual-sided pedals with the clip-ins on one side and the uh, flats on the other with these, uh, with these handy-dandy shoes I got that are super rad is, is pretty rad. I'm getting pretty good at clicking in and clicking out when I need to, but still, that loose climbing stuff, the minute the tire spins, dude, it's a disaster waiting to happen. So I'm feeling pretty good. I'm fired up, dude. Got my endorphins, dude. I'm on an endorphin high right now. Woohoo. Woohoo. And it's beautiful. And a nice little wooded nook. Listen to that. Go. Hi. <laughs> Ciao. Bowl cut fans out here in the middle of the trail, dude. Farmed it, bud. <laughs> oh, glorious. Bunch of this kind of stuff. Pretty extreme section. Not really for the uh, the diehards out there, but I haven't been on the trail for a while. So it's, uh, you know, it's pretty technical on the downhill. And then you got some some crossings right there into there and it's an adventuresome trail that's for sure wow you, you want to scare the hell out of yourself on a mountain bike i was coming down through that little section and it bucked me you want to see where my bike is my bike's down there you see it fully launched off that cliff I'm super stoked to be alive. Oh my goodness. Talk about terrifying myself. I don't even know how to get my bike. It's down in some canyon. I gotta walk down there and go retrieve it. Look at that. Holy shit, man. Literally. Right here. Boom. The abyss. Well, I officially scared myself. Dang, dude. We're lucky on this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get home and I'm gonna get home and just thank God for cat-like reflexes, man. Holy shnikes. Dang. See how broken the bike is dude that thing just fully just cartwheeled down the hill better the bike than me 
Ow. Good thing I was not clicked in. <sighs> Zoiks. Cautionary tale. Be careful out there, people. Would not have made that that drop. Oh. Ah, seat took a beating. I don't know, we'll see if, if how the bike did. Had a little blood. I'll take that. I'll take that gift of just a little bit of that. Oh, I'm way up here too. Gnarly. Gnarly. Well, I made it off that, out of that single track right there. I got back up, I rode, I was scared. I gotta tell you, I was scared cause I was way back up in there, but I watched, uh, it was funny, right when I was got all like, my bike all fixed back up, I saw this, uh, this couple come blazing right through that whole section and I wasn't going fast enough. Pure and simple, just was not going fast enough to get it. I hesitated, hit my front brakes, and over I went. But I'll tell you what, the, uh, the plus side of that whole thing is that I'm a skateboarder. So when it came, instead of holding back on the fall, man, I just, I aimed for where I was gonna fall. You know what I mean? A lesser cat-like skater mind would have gone off the cliff. I, in fact, dove to the side and fully was like, all right, I'm going in. I'm not even fighting it. I'm picking my spot. It's over here, not down there. But, but I'll tell you what, man. I am super grateful I did not catastrophically farm it on that deal. This is the, that, look, I'll tell you how brutal the fall was. I mean, the seat's destroyed. But uh, that's minor on the whole thing. I think everything else is, is A-OK. -okay. But yeah, on that note, I will tell you what, I did get back on and, and ride. And I put my speed through some, some sections to, and I was like, dude, and I was like, I gotta overcome my fear right now. Get back on the horse and ride, man. So I got back up on the horse and I rode. I, I, I realized my mistake. And, and the other mistake I has was I was on a new trail and I should have known to, to scout my line and I didn't. So on the remainder of the trail, man, on the, uh, on the parts that I could get wide open, I did. I didn't go wide open, I got 70%. But after a slam like that and, and that whole thing, that was pretty good. Wow, it's, it's and again, I think the, another just point of the whole, it's amazing how quick reality can change on a dime, man. That could have all been real bad, real bad. But uh, again, life is an adventure. And um, I'll tell you what, I'm super grateful I got off on the couch, got out, got out of the house today, rode the bike, faced it all today. Like, wow, wow. That's all I can say is wow. And uh, I, got a, uh, I got a pretty nice bruise and battle scar to show for it, man. And uh, I'm gonna get a new seat. All right. I think we're done with this video. <laughs> we're done, dude. We're done with this video. Oh boy. Oh boy. Life is a box of chocolates. Anyway, this is the illusion signing off.